Tesla is about to increase the price of its full self-driving package from $10,000 US dollars to $12,000 US dollars. Why exactly are they doing this? And when is it happening? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. It is a Sunday night here. Today, my boys raced in a big BMX race and they both did really well. I'm very proud of them. Jack and Cal have a new video coming, by the way, showing them talking and having fun and doing a bit of body surfing and BMX racing. That's part of my video about my road trip to test a Tesla Model 3 and compare it to the new BYD electric car that just landed in Australia, the very first one. So check out that video. It'll be up in about a week, I believe. Now, welcome to the channel to all the new subscribers and welcome back to everyone else. I just want to say a big thank you to the new Patreon supporters that have just come on board, to the old Patreon supporters supporting the channel. Thank you all very much. I really do appreciate your support. It means a lot. I'll put a link in the description below to our Patreon account. If you want to support the channel, that would be unreal. Now, what is going on here? with Tesla increasing the price of full self-driving. Well, Elon Musk just tweeted that the price will increase from 10,000 US dollars to 12,000 US dollars on January the 17th, 2022. So in about six days. Now, one of the websites that doesn't really like Elon Musk or Tesla all that much, to be honest, is electric.co. The reason being that apparently they had a falling out with Tesla, apparently electric are no longer in the inner circle for the Tesla people. I don't know what happened, but that's ex that's they said something along those lines. So ever since that happened, they have been a lot more critical of Tesla in general. That's a fact. Now, they've reported that the price of the full self-driving package has been somewhat controversial. They said CEO Elon Musk made Tesla's pricing strategy clear when it comes to full self-driving. Tesla is going to increase the price of the package but since the package doesn't actually do what the name says, which is for the vehicle to fully drive itself, people have criticized Tesla for increasing the price, which gradually went up to 10,000 US dollars. Now I'd say the people that have increased, that have criticized Tesla the most are probably electric.co. They have been quite critical of this. Now, personally, I don't agree. I think everyone that's bought this package has done their research, knows exactly what they're getting. There is like literally thousands of videos on YouTube. The information is everywhere for exactly what Tesla's full self-driving package is. It's a technically a level two system right now. Tesla doesn't claim it's a level four or a level five system. They do say you have to be fully 100% aware of what's going on and ready to actually take over the car yourself if you need to. That said, I can kind of see their point. Rather than calling it full self-driving, Maybe calling it full self-driving beta would be more appropriate. Now, right now, the kind of controversial issue here is the fact that only a small number of drivers are getting access to the beta, which is quite a bit better than the standard full self-driving. Obviously, the beta will be eventually on wide release once it's been tested and proven to be acceptable for the masses. But right now, it's basically a select number of people that are getting access to the best version of this software. Now, speaking of the beta, Musk said that a new update called 10.9 will be arriving next week around the same time as this price increase and another bigger update will come probably next month is what he said. Here's the official tweet. Beta 10.9 should be ready in about one week. Beta 11 with single city highway software stack and many other architectural upgrades probably next month. Now, here's the good news. The price increase is only in the United States, but that is the only market where the full self-driving beta is available to people who have a driver safety score of over 97. Now, how do you get this safety score? Well, Tesla basically assesses you based on the way you drive and then decides whether or not you're worthy to get the full self-driving beta. Kind of like a way they gamify driving to some degree. Now, last year, Tesla launched its full self-driving subscription at US $200 per month. Apparently though, there is a chance that that price will be increased because Tesla says it wants the one-time purchase cost, so that 10,000 US dollars or 12,000 US dollars to be the best and most economic option. Now, this is what Electric says, right? Since the responsibility lies with the driver and not Tesla's system, this system is still considered a level two driver assist system, despite its name. It has been sort of a two steps forward, one step backwards type of program, as some updates have seen regressions 
in terms of its driving capabilities. Now, in general, I think the updates have been pretty positive. So I'm not sure I 100% agree with that. I don't actually agree either that, this, that people are being misled into buying something that they think it's not. I think that everyone who's buying the system knows exactly what it is. Now, why are Tesla increasing the price? I think it comes down to one reason, increasing margins on their cars. And I also think that they believe they are getting closer to solving full self-driving. Are they getting closer to solving it? Of course, yes, technically they definitely are. The system is definitely getting better. If you watch the videos online of the new updates to the system, it is definitely improving. Key question is here, will Tesla actually achieve full self-driving within the next two years? Well, some people say no, they're never gonna do it. Others say yes, but it won't take two years, it'll take five. And some people say, Yes, it will happen within two years. And what do I personally believe? I personally think solving full self-driving is extremely difficult, but I do think that within two years, Tesla's system will be safer than 99% of the drivers on the road. In other words, it'll be safer to rely on the system rather than rely on yourself. And I'm saying within two years, not next week, within two years. And I think Tesla thinks that they're coming closer to that position. Now remember, for Tesla to solve full self-driving, for anyone to solve full self-driving, it doesn't need to be perfect, believe it or not, as crazy as that sounds. It simply needs to be better than you at driving. And realistically, for most people, that's probably not that difficult, considering the way I've seen people driving on the roads. Well, during my road trip, wow, there was some crazy driving there. So is this a good move from Tesla? Well, honestly, if they can increase revenues from this and people are willing to buy it, then sure, it is. But what I personally would like to see happen is the beta get released to everyone. I think that would provide more value for the US $12,000 spend. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Have you purchased full self-driving from Tesla? Would you buy the package? What's your opinion on the system? What's your opinion on Tesla actually solving full self-driving? Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.